Another thing about sequence settings, you might not get that little message that says, do you want to match these, these guys up? When does that happen? I'll show you, because why else am I making this video? So, here we go again, down here. Here's my 24 frames a second timeline. Let's friggin' do it one more time in case you haven't seen any of the other videos. 21, 22, 23, 24, up, oh, 23, 24. That's my 24 frames a second. And then up here is, uh, oh crap, I hate it when I do that. I can never find my mouse. Up here is some footage that's not 24. I'll save you the, the trouble of seeing it. But when you look at it, it doesn't, it goes 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. This is not, this is 30, this is 24. This media is 30, this sequence setting is 24. Aha, but, now, but the media in the setting is also. But what happens if it's not? What happens? Usually, now I did this before, if, you're, if your sequence is empty, oh no, if your sequence is empty and we drop it in, we get the message. You've seen the video hopefully for this message. Apple Z, Apple Z everybody, save your life, Apple Z. I need to do it twice. It's got a couple of Apple Z's in there. Apple Z is undo. It will save your ass if you need it to. So, everything's back. 24 frames. 30 frames. Got a big long edit here. Let's drop it in. What happens? I didn't get that message. Steve, why didn't I get that message? Well, it's because you already got crap in here. So now what the computer, what, what Final Cut wants to do is it wants to re-render this footage to look like this. Um, so let's do that. You can hit Apple R and uh, it'll write the video. So all this green stuff up here, all these green lines up here, it's gonna, now it has to work. We're gonna be sitting here for two minutes. Oh man, I don't wanna sit here for two minutes. Let's cancel this. Now, something you should know also that when you hit, when you hit cancel, it doesn't cancel the whole thing. Look at that, it actually got part of it done. It got about 13% of it done. But uh, let's see what happens. Let's hit play. Let's see what, what it looks like. Going from 24, you know, into the next one. Now, that doesn't look right. It looks jumpy. Not super jumpy, but let's, I mean, it looks pretty good even unrendered. Let's watch this again. Now, here's, here's some footage. It looks pretty smooth, you know. And I know it's a video of a video, so it's hard to tell. But then now we're going to go, look, now that's not right. That just doesn't look right. That's jumpy. So I've actually gotten, a, a, you know, somebody who, who was capturing and got jumpy footage. Now, was it that jumpy? That's not so jumpy. Or was it unusable jumpy? But you can see what will happen. It wants to, now it wants to take footage that's 30 frames a second and make it 24 frames a second, and it's not going to look super good. It's going to look like... Weird. So that's what's going to happen. How long has this video been? I always seem to check. Oh, it's only 3 minutes and 20 seconds. All right, so um, there's really nothing more I have to say. That was just a good demonstration. If you have any requests, any questions about Final Cut Pro, about the Sony V1U, which is the camera I use, or about filmmaking in general, I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to be the guy to ask now. And if I don't know, I don't, I'll, I'll try and find out for you. But, uh, you know, I'm not like Steven Spielberg or anything. But I've been doing this for, I've been editing on Final Cut for about six years, so I've learned some stuff. And, uh, but I'm always learning. If there's anything you guys out there know that you can tell me, please, I'd love to, I'd love to hear it. But all right, this is Steven DeCasa, and um, have fun editing, man. Awesome.